Pleasure Bit. I'm Rachel and today I'm bringing you a special edition about all creatures great and small, James Herriot. It brings back so many memories for me as a child. I always remember on nights, Sunday nights, sitting around the fire with my family, watching the iconic episodes and seeing the animals and having a bit of a laugh. So we decided throughout the year to film various snippets which will hopefully um, bring to life some of the memories for you of different places and different scenes from All Creatures Great and Small through the ages. So to give you some of the background, all Creatures Great and Small was written by a guy called James Alfred White, but under the pen name of James Herriot. James was born in Sunderland and he trained as a veterinary surgeon in Glasgow. He then moved to Thirsk and he was a veterinary surgeon in the Yorkshire Dales for more than 50 years. All Creatures Great and Small, really it, it chronicles the heartwarming and probably sometimes quite humorous adventures of James uh, as a young country vet and his lives in Yorkshire in the late 1930s. There's three main characters in James Herriot. So there's James himself who is a young vet and joins the practice. There is also Siegfried Siegfried is the, um, the main vet and he has a practice in Skeldale House and James goes to work there with him. The third vet in the series is Siegfried's younger brother called Tristan who's normally the one that things, if they're going to be humorous, it normally has Tristan involved in it somewhere. There's also a housekeeper, Mrs Hale. And the, the series actually centres around the veterinary practice but mainly Skeldale House, which you'll see on our adventures. The original series was filmed between 1978 and 1990, and there was in total 90 episodes. Just recently, Channel 5 decided to do a remake of it, and I was going to say, I was a little bit nervous when I heard that because I've got all of the memories of what it was like from when I was little and, you know, invoking all of the, the fun that we had. Um, but I've got to say, I really do like it. I think that they've done a remarkable job. They've changed some of the things that you'll see on our journey. Um, they've changed some of the, the main towns, etc. But the ethos and the humour, the wit and the animals are all still the same. So come on the journey with us now and I hope you enjoy it. And next we're going to show you the water splash, which is in the iconic um, opening titles of All Creatures Great and Small. It's actually near Ark and Garthdale. You've seen that we went to a pub stopover at the CB Inn, which is literally five to 10 minutes drive from there. We're now making our way to Askrig, which is the home to the original Skeldale house. We're now at Askrig, which is the home to Skeldale House, which was the original um, house used in the first series. It's now actually a bed and breakfast, so you can stay there. And we're now on our way to Hardraw. We're now at the Green Dragon, which is in Hardraw. While you're here, check out the waterfall, which is also just behind it, it's well worth a visit. Now let's take a look inside the Green Dragon pub at Hardraw. Unfortunately, it's currently closed. I hope somebody opens it up again soon. What a quaint little pub. You can see why they chose this as the, the inside of the Drover's Arms. We're now heading from Hardraw over to Grassington. It's beautiful scenery on the way. They're filming the current series of All Creatures Great and Small in Grassington for Channel 5. We're now at Grassington, which has been used as the village of Darraby in the new series. 
This could develop over the years and it didn't have the same feel. So they found Grossington and it's just such a quaint, cute place. There's loads of pubs, restaurants and shops to see. There's also some great walks and some waterfalls and water features if you get a chance to go and visit. We also went to the Devonshire Arms, which is the Drovers in the series. You can see that it's actually on the windows as the Drovers. We went in there and we were chatting to the staff and they were saying how wonderful it was to see all of the actors and actresses in Grassington and they, they told some of the stories. In the actual pub itself, they've got a replica of one of the little sitting rooms as well. So if you get a chance, pop to see that. It's really worth a look. We also had a lovely breakfast at the Devonshire Arms. I highly recommend it to you all. Now, let's take another look around Grassington, or Darabee as it's known. They've been filming the Christmas special here, which is out on, the, on Channel 5 on the 23rd of December. Before we leave, we're just going to take another look around Grassington. We're now heading over to Thirsk, which is where James Herriot's original veterinary practice was and the home of the James Herriot Museum. The world of James Herriot is actually in the original building, which has been lovingly restored and bringing back many of the original characters of the house as it would have been at that point. I've got to say I really enjoyed it. It says online that it takes approximately 90 minutes to walk around and I'd say that that's probably about right. You could spend so much time, there's so many little bits and pieces. It's £8.50 for adults currently when I was there and £5 for children. It's brilliant, it's a wonderful experience. There's so much to see and so much to do. I really would recommend it if you get a chance.
and we're now heading off to Sutton Bank. James White declared this the finest view in England. After his death in 1995, his ashes were scattered here. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little look about. There's still other places to visit on the list to go and see the James Harriet experiences and I hope that's given you a feel and flavour. Thank you for watching and check out the channel on Thursday night at 4 o'clock. Dave and I are being interviewed by a special guest. Hopefully see you then. Bye.